about 5.15 and we've just arrived at Lone Eagle Aviation on the outskirts of Kununurra. We're just about to meet up with our gun pilot, Lance Connolly. He's going to fly us to the very north of Western Australia where we're going to spend the day caving, looking for crocs, looking for birds and pretty much anything else that takes our fancy. I'm looking forward to it today. It's going to be a great day. The opportunities that present themselves in the job that I do just never cease to amaze me. I mean, here we are in the Nimbing Ranges. It's one of the most northern points of Western Australia. We're right on the Northern Territory border. We've just taken a 45 minute helicopter ride to get here. And we're wandering around in beautiful freshwater Melaleuca drainage line looking for red goshawks and purple crown fairy wrens. Unbelievable opportunity to get some fantastic footage. Whenever the opportunity presents itself we find our way into these tiny little caves. The humidity is through the roof, it's usually pretty warm and the air is thick with the smell of bat guano but they're an excellent place to find all sorts of reptiles and amphibians and bats. You can see this little children's python comfortably parked up here in a little crevice. Here on the vertical rock faces we have a green tree frog and not far away there's a banded tetella clinging to the rock. These smaller reptiles think that they're safe from predation but they're not. There's one animal that's supremely well suited to moving around on the vertical rock walls or the roofs of these caves and that's the brown tree snake. There's one right above us here, we didn't even see it, we walked right underneath it. It's probably about 1.5 metres long and it's wrapped up in this tiny little crevice. As you can see it's pretty feisty but we'll just give it a minute, I'm sure it's going to settle down. Now that this snake appreciates that we're not going to hurt it, it's not really interested in us at all. It's more interested in just getting away. Some of the things that amaze me about this animal are the huge eyes that are obviously really well suited to nocturnal foraging and the scale pattern. They've got massive dorsal scales and they've got really, really highly evolved ventral scales that have a, a really, really tight crease along the uh, lateral side and this enables the scales to grip onto the tiniest little nook or cranny or crevice on the rock faces. As well as being supremely well suited to moving around on the rock walls, this animal is also extremely well camouflaged. Look carefully amongst vegetation here and you can see one. The head just sitting there, still, and then boom, gone. Slips back into the undergrowth, safe and sound.